My name is Ian Walsh. This is The Moment Money Matters with hardmoneybankers.com. Today I want to talk about comping city properties versus sub, uh, suburb properties. There's a huge difference in what you're looking at. City properties, typically when I'm comping them or deriving a value, I'm usually within one tenth of a mile. I'm always within the last six months. I'm looking for what's sold. Even inside that one tenth of a mile, I'm really honed in on what's on the block. Suburb uh, properties are usually you know, you're going to start your search at about a quarter mile. You want to be inside that, but you'll start your search at a quarter mile, work your way in. And a lot of times you'll have specific types of properties in that area that are, um, you know, in a, in, a, in a neighborhood. So you want to make sure you're in their same school district, same neighborhood. Uh, a lot of, And a lot of times you'll have like properties that are, you know, Cape Cods or properties that are colonials. They'll all be similar. So you want to make sure you're comping against the same type of property and uh, same uh, subdivision if you can and same school set so the difference between city and suburb is certainly there you want to recognize that when you're running comps because if you go a quarter mile out in almost any city you could have a $300,000 swing and you can't have that happening